Welcome back everybody. The video I'm going to be putting together today is actually um, footage from back over the summer. I unboxed and put together a respirator for when I painted my garage. Um, this actually, I get a lot of questions about this, so what I'm actually going to do from this intro is actually um, edit the video, take that part out of the overall painting video and just edit the, the portion that has um, unboxing the respirator and setting it up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post videos pretty much weekly, sometimes a couple times a week. Anything from fixing things around my house to fixing my cars, that kind of stuff. So um, if uh, you like what you see here, consider subscribing and follow along on my journey. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so unboxing this, you get two pod builders, a set of instructions, and then this mask. Now what you want to do with these masks, I'll put these filters on here in a second. But what you want to do with these masks is it has a lower section and then it has an upper section that goes around the top of your head. First part you want to do is um, undo this clip. Clip. You can just leave it clipped and then put it around your neck, but I like to unclip it. Clip it around the back like this. That way it just kind of hangs. Then the next piece of it is to put this up around top of your head so that way it fits this mask snugly over your face. It's not supposed to let any air in on either end. Make sure I got this strap in the right direction here. All right, so now when you get this on here, you probably can't hit me real, very well, but once you get this on, it's kind of loose. You don't want it to be loose fitting like that. It provides these little pull handles. You pull these handles tighter so that way it fits snug around your mouth like that. So you can barely hear me now. I don't have the pod filters in either, but you want it to fit like this. So basically you want it to fit nice and snug around your face. That way it creates a seal and everything is forced through these pod filters. That way everything's forced through these pod filters uh, so you can breathe clean air. So, next thing you want to do is unwrap these. And you can see on side this, there's a little screw. And this actually is threaded as well. So you'll screw these on. And I'll just go ahead and do that real quick so that we can see. I'll show you the finished product. And then I'll start spraying the, paint, the garage here. All right, so now you've got your two pod filters, you've got your mask. They make these things really easy so you can get up and get to work really fast. So you basically are gonna take this and screw this pod filter on the mask. This is just made out of a, like a, a flexible rubber. So just be gentle with it. Don't go all ham-fisted and destroy it and smash everything. Just so it's nice and snug, put the other one on the other side. You're just going to get it snugged down like that. What's nice about this style of uh, respirator is that you can actually replace these little uh, white filters. So let's say these are rated, I forget what they're rated, but there's a certain number of hours that these are rated for. But you can actually take that apart and then inside there is that little white filter. You can replace these and keep, keep on using them. Um, these things are really handy. If you're painting anything and you're not using a respirator, it's probably, probably worth doing. These things are cheap. I think I paid like $35 for this. So then, just get it clipped in. Pull it up and over. Get it cinched down. You're ready to go. 